Hello. Today I'd like to show a very simple but important technique that I've discovered with Make Noise Maths, which is the creation of a sidechain compressor that also mixes the results of sidechaining together so that you can use a Make Noise Maths to achieve sexily sidechained. <laughs> mixes where the kick will always power through over the other elements no matter what you do so that in a dance music situation when you have a drop it will drop properly so the kick kicks through This technique can be done with other modules very easily and you don't need many modules to do it. But how good is maths? You can do it all within one module, including the mix. So the principle is that we have two signals. On one side, we've got our Novation Nova here and we've got on the other side, a kick and some percussion sounds. And what I want is for when the kick goes up, I want the Nova to go down like this so that every time the kick plays, the Nova just gets out of the way for just the right amount of time that the kick is playing and then for it to come back. And the ideal way is that you use the shape of the kick itself, invert it and apply it to a VCA that is controlling the Nova so that whenever the kick goes up, the inversion pulls the Nova down just for that split second that you need it to. And there's a few details to how you do that that make it work well or not. But all of these can be done in maths, which is completely off the hook. What a great module. And it works a little bit like this. So, first, I take the audio of the kick itself. This is the kick module. This is the Tip Top BD-808. And I'm sending it into a mixer here where I'm mixing together all my actual percussion so that all of the percussion that's happening in this little case is mixed up here. But I take a copy of that kick because I need to use it to create the inverted signal. What I do is I feed it into channel one of maths. So these outer channels of maths have this kind of wave shaping capability. Now on this left one, the kick goes in and I am using maths to be an envelope follower because it is essential that it smooths out the kick very slightly. Otherwise it just doesn't work. It sounds wrong and to do this if you go to channel one you have rise on zero and as long as you have fall on noon then it will smooth out the signal now you can see this is the smoothed out kick here if I mute this that's it that's the control voltage sweet so in this way it has turned audio into control voltage effectively now, what we need to do is invert it and we need to apply it to the Nova. And we do the inversion via an amazing property of maths, which is that maths can also act as an audio filter. So here's on the right side, the opposite channel, I have my Nova going in, again via this modular, which makes the Nova loud enough to go into a modular, because modular is very loud, louder than line level. And then if I use the rise and fall controls and turn them, listen to this. Uh, maths can be a VCA by turning these. In fact, you can do it by turning either one, but it has a kind of distorted destructive quality. If you do both, it's smoother. There's a kind of weird quality to it, but maths is acting as a filter and also as a VCA. And so all I have to do to make the Nova go quiet is I need to apply that shaped envelope followed signal to it, but I have to invert it as well. And Maths has lots of inverters built into it. These are tenuverting channels, which is amazing. And the output of channel one, the kick, all in yellow is here. So these, this is the output of the kick. 
And then what I can do is I can invert it with this attenuverter. So I'm taking the kick when it happens, inverting it with that dial, and this is the inverted version of it going into the both control. And the both control controls both of these knobs. And you can hear when you do that, it brings it down every time this plays. Sweet. And then for the final part, it's the simple act of mixing. Maths is very smart. It, right in the center of maths is a mixer. And so what I have here is in the sum output. This is going to my audio interface. This is being recorded into Ableton Live. And the channel four here is turned up there. That's my Nova and channel two. This is the output of all of the percussion, including the kick. That's it there. So if I turn this down, you can hear just the Nova. You can hear it being ducked. simple. But I love the fact that maths does the mixing because for me what I've been looking for is one module where I can do this entire process and that I get the mixed output because otherwise you need a bunch of different modules. You need an attenuverter, an envelope follower, a mixer, um, a VCAs. Uh, and this can do it in one. So how do you like them apples? I like them apples very much. These are the apples that I like to eat. <laughs> Drops drop properly. how you use and make noise maths to do side chaining but also the mixing you can do this entire process in mono yes in mono within one module how good is that for a thing that isn't necessarily designed for one purpose it is astonishing how maths proves that it can do pretty much anything wouldn't it be cool to have a whole system of maths something for another day. Thanks very much for watching. And if you like this, please consider sponsoring on the Good Ship Patreon. That is how we keep doing this. Thanks for watching. Love you. See you later. Bye.